This John Lothian News video is sponsored by... When the CME Group CEO looks at growth, he looks to Europe and Asia. The two regions are the main focus for the exchange today and in the years to come. CME's Poopender Gill spoke with John Lothian News at the FIA Boca Conference about its prospects, as well as the regulatory and technology challenges it faces in the coming year. Globalization is a very big priority for CME. About a third of the rev revenues of CME Group come from outside of the U.S. That has grown tremendously and will continue to grow for us. Two areas in particular, Europe and Asia, uh, are seeing some growth. We are growing our staff there and, and we, are, we are finding some interesting opportunities. And it's not just the products that we have listed on CME Group now, but we're also doing some development work there. So in Europe in the first quarter, we roll out some en energy-related products that are doing exceptionally well. We're very proud of the progress in particular that CME Europe is, is engaged in. And uh, we, we continue to have, I think, some very functional dialogue with uh, regulators. Uh, from our point of view, it's good to have the regulatory environment set so we, we would know all of the rules. So that's one bit of uncertainty that continues to face us in 2015. And I suspect it's something we're going to continue to have to deal with for the next two or three, three years. When it comes to the regulatory environment, it's best described in two big big chunks. What's going on in the US, which is the implementation of Dodd, Dodd Frank, and that has been largely completed and behind us. There are some small things that need to be fixed about SAFs and what what are the rules of, of SAF finalizing who's gonna do what. But but those are what I would call uh, clean cleanup issues. It'll be interesting, it'll be it'll take up a lot of our effort over the next two years or so, but it's necessary in order to set the environment for our clients. Technology is one of those things that is never going to be static for us. It's a continual investment for CME. The issues that keep emerge, e emerging all surround what we care about, which is safety and sound and soundness. So the good news is we anticipate what is out there, the, the reality of the, uh, the environment in which we operate in is that cybersecurity is, has become front and center for every exchange and not just every exchange, every firm around around the world. If you think about barely five or six years ago, we had two or three people in, in Asia. The last time I spoke to you, we had 50 people in Asia. As I stand here now, there are 90 people in Asia. The growth, the growth rate that came out of Asia in the fourth quarter of last year was 56%. That's a testament to the hard work and the relevance of the products that we have. Europe saw exactly similar numbers in the fourth quarter of last year. The European staff that stands at about 100 and 50 guys now are also doing a tremendous job. Back here in the US, we have the support staff that, that enables our global staff to do what they actually do, not to mention the core business. 70% of it is still done in, in the US, and our sales force here and our prod product and research folks here continue to innovate, continue to bring products to the marketplace that are relevant to our to our clients. Clients. That's the reason you are, you are seeing no other exchange in this world experiencing the growth rates that we are.